Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Friday so it is weigh in day. We're gonna chat about my week and we're gonna talk about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I do a weigh in every Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, I will link nutrition coaching, highly recommend personalized macros and calories. That is what I followed to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. It's free and we would love to have you. So let's talk about my week, my weigh-in, and the Weight Watchers workshop topic. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I had a good week. I had an interesting week, but I had a special week as well. And I am officially finishing out week two and a half-ish of my eight-week cut. So I wanna give you an update on that, how things are going, the interesting things that happened this week. I'm gonna fill you in completely. But before I do, quick update on little Missy back there. I've been getting a lot of questions on how Lola is doing. She is doing really, really well. She is officially in remission from her second round of chemo treatment for lymphoma. She's doing amazing. She has missed a couple of chemo treatments due to her white blood cells being a little bit low, which is common with chemo. So she actually missed her treatment last Tuesday. She had a pretty rough week the week before. That particular treatment gives her a lot of digestive upset and, and, and a lot of diarrhea. And I think because of that, her white blood cells were too low for treatment. But we went in this last Tuesday and everything was fine. She was able to get her treatment. She literally is a beast. She's a warrior. She's amazing. She's incredible. She's kicking cancers, you know what, all over the place. And I'm, I'm really grateful every single day for one more minute with her. Maybe. One more day with her. I'm literally just thankful every single day that she's healthy and happy and, and I, I couldn't be happier. Speaking of Lola and speaking of healthy and happy, we had a family photo shoot this last week. I'm not going to share everything. I'm going to just pop a couple pictures in here for you, but we wanted to have a family photo shoot with Lola, with Palmer, with Troy and I. Troy and I don't have any professional pictures together. We have been together since 2015 and we've never had professional pictures done because of Lola's lymphoma and Palmer growing up so quickly, he's already three and a half. We thought this was the perfect time to get some family photos. So in next Wednesday's What I Eat In A Day, I will show you all of the pictures. So if you wanna see all of the different photos that, she, that Kelsey, our photographer took, she did an amazing, amazing job. She captured some really, really special pictures. I'll be sharing that in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. But that was a little sneak peek for you of our family photo session. I'm so happy we did it. Seriously, so incredibly happy. We're kind of, we're going through the pictures right now, choosing what we want to print off, what we want to frame. I would like to do maybe a gallery wall type of thing in our house with all of our pictures. So we're just gonna have to see what happens. The pictures turned out beautifully. The shoot was a little chaotic. It is a bit chaotic. Again, I'll fill you guys in on Wednesday of exactly everything that happened because it's quite funny, but it was definitely chaotic, but the end result was amazing. Now, not the best thing that happened this week is I actually started my cycle on Tuesday, one day early, but I did start my cycle. So I was pretty darn hungry for a few days leading up to that. And that was rough. Being in a caloric deficit, being in a cut was hard those few days because I literally could eat my arm. I was so hungry all day, no matter what I ate, I was still hungry. That luckily leveled out around Monday. So Monday and now the rest of the week has been a little bit better. For me, it's leading right up to my cycle. Like the few days before I'm ravenously hungry, I just can't get enough food. So I managed, I managed but it was definitely rough and now I'm feeling good. I'm able to stay in my caloric deficit, able to stay in my cut and not be miserably hungry, but I haven't been feeling the best the last few days. I've had quite a bit of cramps, just fatigue, run down, just blah. Going to boot camp on Wednesday was hard. I did it, I made it through my workout, I killed my workout, but man, did I not wanna go. You know me, I love boot camp, I'm very consistent, but boy, Wednesday was a struggle. It's just those first few days, I'm just fatigued and tired and blah. I'm definitely starting to feel a little bit better as we move into the week more. So that was not the best part of my week. Another high though was I got my hair done. I actually got my hair cut and colored. We went a little bit darker. And then I do, you, my hair's pulled back so you can't see, but I do have like a little bit more of a chocolate brown around my face just to add a little bit of highlight. And then I had some new tinsel put back into my hair. So that was a highlight. I mean, getting your hair done is always a highlight. My grays are covered, which is the ultimate highlight. Other than that, I had a good
good week, I had a busy week, and I'm ready for the weekend. We had a pretty low-key Mother's Day. Bola and Palmer got me the cutest card. I shared it in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. If you missed it, check out that video. It's this super cute card with Palmer on the front. He got me some chocolate. We just had a low-key Mother's Day. And then I actually tagged along for golf with Troy and my in-laws. So I got to see my mother-in-law on Mother's Day. I rode in the golf cart. I am not a golfer, but I rode in the golf cart and it was a beautiful day. It was very relaxing and just fun to spend the day with them golfing. So I did that on Mother's Day, got my card, got my chocolate. It was a wonderful day. I hope that you had the best Mother's Day. You had the Mother's Day that each and every single one of you deserve. Whether you're a mom or a fur mom, you deserve to have an amazing Mother's Day. So I hope that it was equally as fantastic as mine was. Other than that, I got my workouts in. I had a great week. I'm ready for the weekend. But before I share my weigh-in for the week, let's talk about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. And that is the five cues to help you eat more mindfully. Have you ever eaten something just because it's there? Maybe you saw it or you smelt it and then immediately you wanted it and you ate it, even if it wasn't on plan, even if it wasn't mindfully. I mean, we've all done it. I've done it more times than I can count. There are five S's that you can ask yourself before consuming any meal or snack. Do you only want this because you can see or smell it? Or maybe it's of the situation that you're in, or maybe how this food sounds, or you think it's extra special. If you answered yes to any of these, and like I said, I've done this time and time again, I have eaten because of all of these S's more than once in my life. You wanna take a minute and really think about what's driving us to want this food or to eat this food. Are you eating it because you're actually hungry or because it's going to satisfy you or are you eating it based on those five S's? I also wanna be 100% clear that it's okay to fly by the seat of your pants and it's okay to eat every single food. It's okay to eat based on every one of these S's. It sounds good. It's smells good, it's nostalgic, it's okay to eat those foods. You just want to be mindful when you're doing that. Sometimes it can leave us feeling disappointed in ourselves or dissatisfied or feeling like we kind of derailed our progress. So if you do choose to base, if you do choose to eat on the S's, just make sure you're mindfully doing it. It's all about being mindful. And if you choose to eat the donut because it reminds you of your childhood, girl, eat the donut. Eat too. Track it and move on. Don't beat yourself up. Give yourself grace. And know that sometimes we eat food simply based on the five S's, not because we're hungry or because those foods actually are part of our meal plan. You eat based on emotion sometimes, and that is completely okay. We just want to ask ourselves these questions. And again, just be mindful in those choices. So I really like this topic because it's easier if we associate the five S's when we're thinking about the foods that we're consuming. And again, just making sure that we're mindfully choosing those. So let's talk about my weigh in. Like I said, I started my cycle on Tuesday. I just finished the full two and a half ish weeks of my cut. We're going to say two weeks for easy math. I actually started my cut on a Wednesday. So technically two and a half weeks, but we're going to say I'm at week, I'm finishing out week two of my cut. So basically what I'm doing, if you missed last week's weigh in is I'm in a small caloric deficit for eight weeks. Trying to lean down, see if I can lose any fat, just kind of work on my body for my 30 year high school reunion coming up in July. Now I also said that I don't know if I'm going to lose any weight because I don't really have a lot of fat to lose, but we're gonna see what happens, what this body of mine can do over the last, over the next few weeks. So I have lost a little bit each week of my cut. And this week being in my cycle, being on my cycle, I wasn't sure what the scale was going to say. I was actually messaging with Kayleen, my coach through Copilot, and I let her know, ugh, I started my cycle. And she messaged me back and said, we don't care what the scale says this week then because bloating is real on your cycle. We'll just pick up next week. And I love that that's her philosophy because you know that's kind of my philosophy too. The scale isn't the only measurement of success. The fact that I stayed in my cut even before my cycle when I could have eaten my arm, that's a big win. That's something more important than the scale that I stepped on today would ever give me. But when I did step on the scale today, to my pleasant surprise, I actually maintained my weight. I'm exactly the same weight as I was last week, which is down from my starting weight into starting my cut. So I'm thrilled with that. I thought for sure the scale would be up today based on my cycle. It was up a big chunk of the week. I'm a daily weigher, so I know exactly what my weight is every morning. And my weight did spike up a few ounces throughout the week, but by today it leveled out. So that just proves that staying in my cut, eating the foods I know are beneficial for me, minding my five, S, minding my five S's can lead to a maintenance for the week, even mid-cycle. So I am beyond 
thrilled about that. So incredibly thrilled about that. And it just makes me excited to see what happens this next week, week three of my eight week cut. And and, and this is coming off Mother's Day. Now, I stayed in my cut on Mother's Day. I did not reach my protein goal on Mother's Day, though, just be based on the foods that I chose to eat that day and being out golfing most of the day. But I did stay in my calories for the day. So that's even coming off of Mother's Day. That's a huge win. That's a huge, huge, huge win. So let me know down below. First of all, how was your Mother's Day? How was your week? And how was your way? And did you gain? Did you lose? Was it what you expected? Let me know down below. And also let me know if these five S's are going to help you eat just a little bit more mindfully. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big, huge thumbs up. Subscribe, turn your bell on. You're not going to want to miss Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day so you can see all of our pictures from our family photo shoot. And definitely check out this last Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. I shared some really great things in that video. So definitely check that out. I'll link it down below below for you. And don't forget to stop by the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Happy Friday, friends. Happy weekend, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!